The clock is ticking for the casino bill in the Virginia legislature. February 11th is the halfway point known as crossover. Each chamber must complete work on its own bills and then begin considering legislation passed by the other body. This morning, the Senate General Law Subcommittee voted unanimously to advance the bill to the General Law's full committee. Bristol, Virginia City Manager Randy Eads gave an impassioned speech, reminding the committee that the casino bill will be an economic driver for all of Southwest Virginia. This is our Amazon. When you look at the number of jobs lost in Southwest Virginia, specifically Bristol, over the past four years, 1,010 jobs have been lost. We do not have jobs in Bristol. We don't have jobs in Southwest Virginia, and it's time to change that. There has been no movement so far to amend the bill to include competitive bidding or adding additional cities. And that's good news for the Bristol Mall Project. Last week, they revealed an updated master plan, a $400 million renovation that makes the old Bristol Mall look almost unrecognizable. Senator Todd Pillion represents the 40th District, and he expects no major changes to the casino bill. The bill that was proposed last year was... Uh, Basically, the bill that was advanced this year with the five original, uh, original localities, it's very specific to those, uh, especially Bristol. Everyone understands the importance of this project for Bristol. Everyone also understands the importance of keeping this with a local referendum and putting power back to the citizens of those localities. Delegate Will Moorfield of Tazewell is on the Appropriations Committee and expects the casino bill to be finalized soon. Quoting now, I strongly believe we will adopt the legislation and the governor will sign it into law.